Welcome to Reliable Information Systems. TV. Hello. Hey. Last time, you promised to talk about test data management today. Yes. That's our topic today. So, what is test data management? Test data management ensures that databases and test environments contain all data needed for testing. It covers aspects such as organizational topics, processes, and tools. How about legal aspects? Legal and compliance aspects are major drivers for test data management. They are one of the two main reasons companies invest in this topic. Cool. Can you give me an example? I brought two pictures. They symbolize the two main reasons why companies invest into test data management. Here is the first one, a sports car. Speed and efficiency. Exactly. Assume you are a test manager. Tomorrow morning, 8 a.m., 30 testers come to start testing a new release. What happens if nobody thought about test data? Testers cannot test. So chaos. Where is my test data? I need a Canadian customer in my database. I need an account with Kerkashvira, please. I need a mortgage that expires in two weeks. To make things worse, often, test data cannot be generated on the fly. Test data might require overnight batch jobs. If test managers forget the test data provisioning before the test starts. This would be expensive. Testers sit around. They cannot execute test cases. And that's a situation when it is time to invest in test data management. Test data management ensures testers have the test data, which they need for their work, on time. Okay. Now we know the first reason why IT departments invest into test data management. Efficiency. So what is the second reason companies invest into test data management? Have a look at my second symbol picture. Lady Justice, so is it about laws, regulation, and compliance? Yes, indeed. We live in a globalized world. Assume a bank client. He lives in Germany. The bank stores his data in his country of residence, in Germany. He wants to pay a bill, but the money transfer fails. He thinks the bank made a mistake. He calls the help desk of the bank. The bank's help desk is in the U.S. The help desk has to figure out. Is it a bug? Or is it faulty operations? If it is a bug, the software development team has to provide a bug fix. The software developers work in India. If a bug fix is ready, testers take over. They work in China. They test and approve the bug fix. Then, the bug fix can be deployed in Germany. So what should the bank do when a client complains? You did not pay interest correctly. Can you send German customer data to help desks, software testers, and developers around the world? To different jurisdictions? In other words, can you copy German client data to development and test environments in the US, in China, and in India? Rules in Europe are often strict. There are data privacy acts and the banking customer secrecy. In the US, there is the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act. Don't forget risk considerations. Most companies want to ensure business secrets are kept secret. They do not want to transfer them to outsourcing partners or certain countries, even if it is legally possible. This impacts testing. Can you give an example? Think about a research database. Researchers store their experiments in the database. Plus, they store patent applications in preparation. Would you transfer such data to outsourcing partners in other countries, just to make it easier for them to test a new software release? No. Never ever. So, in many situations, testers cannot get original data from production environments for testing. They have to work with anonymized or synthetic data. Thus, test data management must ensure, testers have test data. Even if production data cannot be copied one-to-one -to, -one to test environments. Hi. Hello. Sorry. I am late. I partied all night. What do you talk about today? Test data management. Testing. Again. Testing is boring. Nothing new for decades. 
All test gurus have great tears. If they still have tears, who cares about testing and test data management? Did you check with Google Trends? Try the search term, software testing, and compare the result with test data management. This is really interesting. The interest in software testing dropped till 2007 or 2008. Afterwards, the interest remained more or less stable till today. The curve for the search term, test data management, is completely different. Nobody cares till 2008 and 2009. Then, suddenly, people get interested. And stay interested till today. Exactly. Software testing is an established profession. Nevertheless new topics appear from time to time, such as, test data management. The main drivers, in my opinion, are, making testing of database applications more efficient, plus, new regulatory pressure sometime between 2005 and 2010. Cool. Thank mm -hmm. you.